Forensic Golf. Hey, Doc Blade here. There's a news article out, a magazine out, that's given the 10 reasons why players do not improve. And they, the reasons they, they name are all blaming it on something else. The driving range doesn't offer this, or the driving range does not have this, or your practice facility does not offer this, or your practice facility has too much of this. I mean, totally wrong. Totally wrong. Misinformation. Golf magazines will have you in the rabbit hole, folks. I'm telling you, they've been in business for a lot of years, so they have to keep on regurgitating folklore myths to order to in order to keep on selling magazines. And now they sell them through subscriptions, online subscriptions, and whatnot. But let me tell you, the number one reason most people are not improving is because they're constantly trying to reinvent their golf swing. There you go. It's that simple. They're constantly trying to reinvent their golf swing instead of tapping into the hard work they have already done. So if you really, really want to improve, spend time on the fundamentals, as I say. Rotation, pressure awareness, vertical thrust, torques and forces, what are you applying to the handle and hand path. Work on your speed and conditioning, and then once you groove that swing, spend the rest of your time trying to tap into that hard work. It's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. Don't try to reinvent your swing every single round. Don't go out there and hit a bad shot and then think you have to do something different. Let that bad shot go and then tap into that hard work. Attain stillness, wholeness. Get those butterflies of flying formation. Have your goal number. Step into your ball and pull the trigger. Tap into that bank account of all those hard work you have done. You do not have to continue to reinvent your swing. Use the off season if you want to get more, you know, 90 degree angles. If you want to improve your pressure awareness, you know. But that's only if you're missing a lot of shots. If your ball strike is off, spend a couple of practice sessions just working on pressure awareness. You don't have to reinvent your swing. It's not rocket science, folks. These magazines will have you down in that rabbit hole, and it'll be years before you come out. Again. The number one reason why people do not improve is because they do not tap into the hard work that they have already done. Once you have grooved your swing, spend the rest of your time learning how to tap into it. Get out of that prefrontal cortex and tap into that cerebellum. Work on your speed and conditioning. You can always do that. But don't spend your whole golf journey trying to reinvent your golf swing. Okay, folks? I'm not going to step into my ball until I have wholeness. My ball is sitting on a little mound. So I'm going to choke down on my club so my sole of my club can be flat. So I have still this wholeness. I'm going to take a little swing on it. Make sure I'm flat. I'm going to choke up a little bit more. There you go. I'm gonna step into my ball. I got my goal number. Set one up. Looks good. Nice ball. Off that mound. Get on the green. All right, that ball chased up on the green off that little funky lie. Remember, your pre-shot process is the first thing that you do. What did I do? I choked down on the club so I could have a flatness, right? All right, you can see I can walk down on that. See that? Walk back up on it. So the ball's sitting up on the mound. One foot's off the mound, one foot's on the mound. So choke down until you have a flatness. You want the sole flat and then make a good swing, right? Ball came out low, ran up onto the green. I'm very, very happy with that. But remember, remember folks, tap into that hard work you've already done. This is a shot I've hit before. So I just simply tapped into it. I didn't try to reinvent my swing. Keep grinding. Set one up. Looks good. Nice ball. Off that mound. Get on the green.